Hello reformers and welcome back to Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Now, when we left off, we had just encountered the Beast of Rashtil, which turned out to be a girl, woman, and she is now with us. She's now joined us, which is fantastic. So hopefully we'll be able to use her amazing damage to our advantage in combat. So, without further ado, we obviously need to complete this particular dungeon before we are allowed to return back to Grandfather. And obviously that requires us to go through the other nodes as far as I'm aware. So, we're going to go over to this one, which is Greenmark, a cloistered copse that could probably serve as a decent camping site. Now, apparently, this is... Oh, look at that! Hold L during battle to display which obstacles can block your vision. That's very useful. Aside from your town, camp nodes are the only place where you can save your game. Clicking on that icon will enable you to access the save menu. I would have loved to have known that beforehand, because I've actually had to go through the entirety of the initial starting points of this game, I think maybe twice, or maybe three times now. Because, as you can see here, I have now saved, obviously, but the thing is, is that I didn't know about this kind of campsite beforehand. Anyway, let's speak to Signy and then we'll speak to Griffith, I suppose. You are aware of your fearsome reputation in these parts, I assume. My pilgrimage brought no harm upon your kin. Akelra pursues revelation, not slaughter. Perhaps. I do not intend to question that. The fact remains, however, that some have already denounced you as a local menace. Some may even come after you. Let them come. It matters not. Theirs are but words, empty and without sting, like a buzz of a bumblebee. Let them come. Alright, so now this is kind of like the text adventure portion where you actually do get to choose what we are, you know, what we're actually saying, which is actually very nice. I like that. I like that addition. Anyway, you're with us now. We'll handle this together. Griffith is right. You may be in some danger. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You're with us now. We'll handle this together. Just so, there is strength in unity. The duckling is wise to acknowledge that. Yes, <laughs> the duckling. I had a good chuckle about that, actually, in the previous episode. May your totem guide you. For now, let us continue our journey, yes? Alright, so there you go. There's, the, there's a little bit of exposition there, a little bit of extra character development, and we're now going to go back to the dungeon and finish up by heading into the last node. Which is, I, I mean, I've actually forgotten what it is, but I think it's a, is it a quest? Ah, you may have found Signy, but so have they. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. It's probably going to be some very, very mad villagers. You're about to exit the woods when suddenly Signy gestures at you to wait. Something's not right. What's wrong, Signy? Men around, the scent is clear. We are being followed. I don't see any. Before you can finish your sentence, with a timing so impeccable that it would border on comedic, a hatchet flies by your head, sinking its blade in the nearest tree trunk. Men of somewhat questionable looks emerge from the greenery, surrounding your small party. Their leader, a broad-shouldered brute with the charm of a burlap sack, proceeds to clap in obvious mockery. The man whistles and laughs, earning a low snarl from Signy. The famous beast of Rashtil, who'd have guessed? For someone so fun-sized, you have a pretty hefty reputation. Hell, it's a wonder you ain't a dragon. Well, let's have a look here. So we have three options. So this is the text adventure, more like. What do you want? This is going to end badly, isn't it? Or I'm Kay of House Lauren. I command you to stand down. Well, he's probably not going to do that. This is going to end badly, isn't it? Yup, for you, not for us. He chuckles and draws his weapon. Today, we'll be swimming in bounty money. Get the girl. And we're going to fight, apparently. Oh, well, that's cool. I like it. I like the fighting system in the game, so I'm pretty happy with that. And, of course, we have a couple of challenges now. So they are introducing the challenge system, and this is going to require us to... Oh, my. Defeat two enemies with a single ability. And also to win the battle in seven turns. A little bit worried about that. Okay, I'm going to try and auto-deploy here. 
I don't even, should I, should I, ah, okay, so it's, a, it's slightly randomized a little bit, so you can just continually click that if you so desire. I'm probably going to try and put Signy and Griffith in a similar position, maybe, unless I just want them to kind of, uh, I, I don't know really, I think this is pretty decent, so we're going to go with that. Not every battle ends when you defeat your opponents. Some may have unique objectives f to fulfill. Aside from objectives, battles often come with a separate list of optional challenges to complete. Completing challenges grants bonus experience points on victory and increases the chance of obtaining combat loot. It's okay if you fail challenge though, you shouldn't feel obliged to complete all that optional stuff, but just in case, if you happen to be a masochistic completionist, I have to warn you, they're often quite brutal. Okay, so it's not necessary, which is fantastic for me, because I'm not particularly a completionist. It really depends on the game. If I'm particularly passionate about a particular game, then I'll be absolutely fine to do everything. But yeah, if I if I just am not really invested that much, and the particular thing is rather annoying, then obviously I'll just leave it. But anyway, as you can see here, we have a number of different options there. You can read that if you so desire. And in Regalia, many of your abilities will require a line of sight. You can hold L, which is what we saw on the loading screen. You can also hold Alt to bring up every comb Oh wow, every combatant's health, shields, and ongoing effects. Ah, very nice. Okay, so if I if I press if I press Alt now, look at that. Oh, that is wow, that's fantastic. That is really very useful, isn't it? Alright, so let's have a look at yeah, I was just, I was trying to use WASD to move around. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm very good, aren't I? Yes, very, very good. I was trying to use WASD to move the camera around, but as you can see, it's obviously just moving my mouse to the edge of the screen instead, because, you know, the WASD keys are used in a way to, for the key binding, so. Ah, uh, never mind, never mind, it's okay. Oh, well. So all of these guys are going to do something now. Hopefully they have a really, really bad move, move speed. They, they do seem to have a pretty bad move speed. So we should, in theory, be able to get a nice shield on Signy before she gets attacked. I'm going to try and take Griffith and get behind all of these guys. And maybe what we can try and do is get a bit of a shield. You know, kind of like blinding them and taunting them and all that sort of thing. And we're going to be giving a shield to Signy right now. 144 shield, and she's such a beast as it is. I think it's really going to be very difficult for them to do anything. I'm actually going to use Blitz already here, because I think, personally, we're going to need the buffering. We're going to need the buffering. So let's just leave that. There we go. And now Griffith can attack, so I think we're probably just going to go one-on-one -on -one with this guy to begin with. Don't think we really need to worry about Signy so much. There we go, 181 damage, so it's going to take another, what, two attacks? Well, that's a bit sad. Oh, well, never mind. Let's see what Galak is going to do, the rogue mage. I will destroy you. Oh, okay, he just does teleportation and swaps people's positions. Well, that's absolutely yes, yes. fine. I don't mind that at all. Okay, so Enrage deals damage equal to 15% of Signy's current health as physical and applies empowered and fleet for two turns. And we also have Pounce, leaps through the air, ignoring obstacles which do not block line of sight. Alright, so that's yeah, that's pretty good. Deals that, da, 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 and applies Panicked. Oh my, that's fantastic. That is really very good. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to use Savage Roar. And that is going to apply Panic to them, which is just really, really quite insane. And I think what we're going to do is... Oh, randomly targets up to four enemies in range, deals 70% of base damage as physical with each strike, strikes four times, may hit one target multiple times. Wow, she is very powerful. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to allow these guys to do whatever they so desire because they're panicked. They're panicked. That means they run away. You know, if they run away, they're basically useless and... Now, obviously, we have the opportunity to, you know, use K to give her additional shielding. Whoa, they actually do a lot of damage. That's a bit worrying. That is a bit worrying because Griffith is all by himself. He does have a pretty decent amount of HP, but obviously HP is not regeneratable. Yes, you can't regenerate it. So, yeah. Anyway, let's move 
okay over here. I think we're probably just going to use another little bit of shielding. And then we'll go on to Griffith. Now, we can technically do some pretty decent damage, I think. Should we try and get some shielding? Let's try and get some shielding. Yeah, yeah, there we go. 85, nice. Okay, so that's going to help buffer a little bit of damage. Hopefully, the Rogue Mage is going to be really, really bad at dealing damage. I actually don't know where to go. Should I go all the way back here? Let's go all the way back there and see whether we can prevent Griffith from taking extra damage. This hurts you. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So the rogue mage is, you know, deciding to do some damage to Signy. That's absolutely fine, however, because now she can attack. And this is going to mean big, big things for them. As you can see, we can now do this, which might be really good or it might be really bad. I'm actually unsure. 90% of base damage is thunder to all targets in range. Apply thunder for one turn. Don't really need to do that. I think we're probably going to do Massacre. What? Oh my, did you see that? Oh yes, I like it. Oh, very nice. Now that is, that is what I anticipated would happen. Very nice indeed. Very nice damage from that. And we can now, I, we can basically just continue. We can just continue. There's really no need for me to do anything else. Because she's going to take a little bit of damage here. I don't know whether she's going to die from this. Maybe I should have moved her away. Hmm, maybe I should have moved her away. I don't think, I don't think she's going to die. I really very much hope she's not going to die. At the very least. Because it would be a grand shame if that were to happen. Okay, so anyway. Let's see. Do I want to give her a shield? I think I probably do want to give her a shield, so... Let's do that. Because I don't really want her to die, so... A, a nice shield would probably help her to survive a little bit more. And... Shall we move K into range, actually? Let's move K into range, just so he has a chance to the get hit. And I know that sounds weird, but he has more HP than her, and it might make sense. Anyway, let's do some damage. Oh, of course, of course, Griffith, yes. You're fantastic, aren't you? Yeah, you're quite annoying. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately, he did miss. Yeah, I find that Griffith does actually miss quite often. Yeah, there you go. So that's exactly what I wanted to avoid there. I wanted to make sure that we were, you know, not really gonna take too much damage from that. Anyway, let's see what I can do here. I think I can move over here and then use Whirlwind to all targets in range. So it's going to basically it's going to hit K there, but that's okay because if we move over here this is going to be better. And that means K is out of range. We're able to deal some significant damage to the mage and this guy with 7 HP can be finished off by K hopefully. Oh, really? Parried? Uh, I suppose it's cuz he had a shield on, which is kind of annoying, I've got to say. Kind of annoying. Alright, so I'm going to use Blitz here, because I want to kill this guy. Oh, there is an obstruction in the way? Are you serious? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, th th there we go. Ah, uh, okay, I actually made a mistake there. Oh, never mind, let's do that. Oh, and missed. It would have killed both of those if we had not missed. Oh, that would have been fantastic. That would have been really, really cool. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to move Signy away. And K is probably going to take a little bit of damage. But we've got to... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Apparently he's dodging. But we have to try to sort of split the damage between all of our units here. I feel like, you know, that's going to be the best way to go. Let's actually speed up the combat a little bit because I, I, I realize that I can actually do that now. Anyway, let's let's see if I can just shoot this guy. Yes. Keep up the momentum, guys. Take that. All right, so let's uh, yeah, let's move next to the mage, shall we? I think that sounds good to me. All right, and let's go over to Griffith, and he can finally kill this, please. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, that is uh, finally dealt with. I mean, literally, it took him, what, three turns just to kill one enemy? Or four turns, even? Uh, I don't even know, but it's fine, because... We now have the opportunity to kill this. Uh, yeah, I can't obviously do that just yet, but I can do here and can do this. Wow, the damage. 
the damage. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic damage. Okay, so yeah, now we can just do some pretty reasonable damage or miss, as the case may be. Ah, uh, miss. Okay, well, let's just there we go. 56 damage, and let's let's do blitz, and let's just finish it off. There we go. Okay, a pretty, you know, pretty challenging fight. Not exactly challenging, but we did... Oh, yes, look at that. We did actually complete the battle in seven turns. I wasn't even taking note of that, but thank you very much. Very nice. All right, so we're, we're happy with that. We do have some fitted boots, and we gained some components, gemstones, and all that stuff. Very nice. All right, so let's go and see what we have to say here. The battle is won, and you're free to leave the forest. Without a doubt, your sisters want to hear about the whole ordeal. End the adventure. You've cleared all available nodes in this dungeon. There we go. And we are now on day five. Meanwhile, something else is happening. Huh? Uh, another miss. Lick clean. Badram. Why can't a man make a decent profit anymore? Not that I'm complaining. Maybe the castle would be more fruitful. Hello. Eh? Oh! <laughs> Hello! <clears throat> Hello! Mighty fine weather for a stroll. Am I right? Yep. Are you here for a walk, too? Ah, uh, no. Not precisely. I am on a walk, yes. But it is a different kind of walk. A gilded walk of spreading joy and awe to all whom I may encounter. I am Haksun Ibn Al-Andoraz, purveyor of goods most wondrous, wandering merchant supreme, and uh, most certainly not one of those street peddlers who would shank you for a stray copper. <laughs> Oh, then you must have come to see my brother. I'm afraid uh, your meaning eludes me. But if you'd pardon me asking, what is a nice young lady like yourself doing in a place like this? I live here. Uh, you live here? As in here, here? I know. I'm sorry about the mess, but it's a recent thing. My brother just became the lord of that castle. See? Over there. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, well, things just got very, very interesting. Perhaps there is good money to be made here after all. <laughs> this is a most fortuitous development. I would be delighted to exchange goods with your brother. That is, uh, with your permission, my fair lady. But of course! I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have you! Ah, splendid! Well then, all that remains is a handshake to cement our joyous agreement. Am I right? Shall we? Ah, uh, so he seems uh, a little bit shady, shall we say. <laughs> I don't even need to tell you that he seems sh shady, doesn't he? Oh, well, anyway, let's see where we have to go next. Well, I suppose, where where do we go? There's only one way to go, which is back here, of course. All right, so, can I save? Nope, can't save here. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit worrying, isn't it? Oh, well, never mind. Let's go into the town. I can probably save in the town. Can't save on the world map, which is a little bit weird, but I can save in the town, apparently. All right, so, yes, as you can see here, we can actually tell which, well, shall we say units and, you know, which comrades are where. Do we want to go to the town square and speak to that merchant? Ah, there he is over there. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything I can do here at the moment, so I suppose maybe I should just go to the main keep and then have, you know, our talk with the grandfather. I suppose that would make the most sense, wouldn't it? And this is what happened. Oh, joy. 
Please don't make a habit out of collecting half-naked women in our castle. She needed our help, that, and she may yet turn out to be useful. Oh, here, here, this youngster speaks the truth. I don't know why there isn't any voice acting right now. You shouldn't shun such occasions, dear boy. There are many more to come, and you need to make the best of it. What do you mean? As you grow in prestige, powerful individuals may cling to your presence. You will be wise to include them in your inner circle. Temper their trust into an asset, and you will surpass every obstacle. No. Meh. What now, Grandfather? One way or another, you seem to have grasped the basics of what it means to be a ruler. The long journey, however, only begins. Crucy. Aye, him and more. This debt cannot be settled overnight. If he is to keep a tight leash on your kingdom, we need to entice him with a prospect. A prospect of growth. But fear not, after all, you have me. I can offer you guidance, you know, experience and the direction that comes with it. Set your goals, focus your attention. It's better to work towards something concrete, don't you think? I suppose you're right. Here, your tasks will be... Well, let's see. Your objectives for the next two months shall be... Ah, here we go. Complete the following objectives to clear this chapter. So chapter one, our objectives are you know, five or more kingdom quests being complete. Well, what are you waiting for? Get to it, chop chop. Okay, well, yes, we're gonna have to, <laughs> gonna have to get to it. As the experienced ex-head of House Lauren, the grandfather decides to aid Kay by focusing the young ruler's efforts, receiving the first of many bi-monthly objective sets. Kay begins his struggle against debt and time. Alright, so we have just received the complete list of tasks required to restore Ascalia. These are collectively called Kingdom Quests. You can always check the status and required quotas of Kingdom Quests in the quest log under the tab menu. Completing Kingdom Quests represents the effort and growth needed to stave off the Debt Collector. Every two months, the Debt Collector will come and evaluate your progress. Oh my, <laughs> oh that's not very good. If you don't meet the required quotas, it's game over. In addition to Kingdom Quests, some chapters may issue a story quest. Completing these should take priority above everything else, as neglecting to do so will fail the chapter regardless of the number of completed Kingdom Quests. Wow, right, okay, that's well, that's that's kind of complicated, isn't it, a little bit? All right, so this concludes our little series of Falls of Text. Remember, if something remains unclear, you can always review these tutorials by clicking on the question mark in the upper right corner of the screen. Good luck, and try not to screw up, will you? Oh, well, that's, uh, yeah, that's actually a bit, uh, I think that's a bit difficult for me, to be honest. Oh, well, never mind. There's town construction, diplomatic missives. I can venture forth if I so desire. And what's that up there? Oh, that's chapter objectives, of course. Okay, so my party is leveled up, and a new perk slot has been unlocked. As you can see here, we do have some perk slots. So we have quick thinking, we gain plus four initiative, command can now be cast regardless of the line of sight to the target. That's absolutely fantastic. Going to have to use that, thank you very much. And because it uses two, it has a cost of two, you can only use that one perk. But that one perk is, in my opinion, very, very powerful and I don't really see the necessity to have anything else. And it seems like the perks are also unique. So you cannot have the same perks on the same characters. So with Griffith, what am I going to go for? Well, should probably go for, you know, plus 100 health. I think that makes sense. And then Signy can probably use something. Oh, no, no, they're not unique. Oh, okay. Well, that's absolutely fine there. So I guess I'm just going to give her that. I think that's fine. And let's have a look and see. Well, how much initiative does he actually have? Griffith has 20 and Signy has 30. So she's a lot faster. So I would assume it would be a good idea to give him some initiative. Do we have any trinkets? We have fitted boots. A character cannot equip more than a single copy of an item at a time. That gives us more initiative, so I'm going to assume that giving him that will make the most sense, because now he has 28 initiative, and he'll be able to move almost as fast as Signy, which in my opinion is going to be very, very useful. Alright, so let's go and check out some of the kingdom quests. Right. Oh my. So, we need to complete five of these. 
by Song Day 28 Ascent 20, uh, well, not 20, <laughs> 1093. I don't even know what, what date it is right now, but as you can see, 51 days left. So that's pretty fine. So if we clear all of these in terms of dungeoneering, if we construct all of these and inhabitants and all that sort of thing, we should be absolutely fine, I think. Let's speak to Griffith. Hello, young master. If I may, young master, I'd like to talk about your combat technique. Would you like to spend the day with Griffith? <laughs> oh, oh, the system's like, would you like to spend the day with... Uh, spend time, why not? Splendid. Excellent, let us proceed. Alright, I don't know what this does. It's been some time since you participated in prolonged combat, young master. Here, let us spar. Okay, I'm ready. Ah, uh, yeah. Splendid. Good form, but there is always room for improvement, is there not? Wow. Well, you do know your basics. That much is certain. Hmm. Not well enough, it seems. Nonsense. Some movements may be sloppy, but tis nothing that could not be evened out by practice. Now, strike again. I'll strike from the right. There we go. Keep going. Continue. Yes, there we go. Okay, we might actually be doing a little bit better there. So, striking from the right seemed to get us through that, I suppose. Alright, so, yes, there you are. One of your personal bonds has grown stronger. So that's fantastic. So that's how you can get your personal bonds to grow stronger. I would assume that it is just literally one of those things that makes sense for us to build a personal bond with our personal bodyguard. So I suppose we'll be spending a little bit more time with Griffith. And we have new... Uh, oh, we have new of these. New, new, new things of these. Wow, okay. Aha! Okay, that's cool. Look at that. So the more you get your relation points or, you know, in technically your bond with a companion up, the more it unlocks perks and makes them more powerful. As you can see here, finishing touch now has its cooldown period reduced by one and dynamic entry now has its maximum range increased by two tiles. These are very, very powerful, as you can see. And I think, well, yeah, I, the, I already have this, right? I already have this. I don't need to spec into this or anything because it, it says it's... I think it's already unlocked, as far as I'm aware. You can change your perks here. Yes, I know. Thank you very much. I already did that. All right, so let's have a look. Yes, he, okay, so he does have something there that I could actually switch out. So what I'm going to do is, because his health, in my opinion, is the most important, we're probably just going to swap out the initiative. And we're going to go for Skill Morph, because Pinpoint Strike now cannot miss or be dodge. However, it no longer applies Sundered. Personally, I think that's a great trade-off, because... Him missing is really annoying to me. Anyway, I think that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.